10 part bread. So we bifurcate our torso right at the, right at the bottom of the, of the breast bone. So we got an upper part and we got a lower part. In both the upper and lower part, we got a forward, left side, right side, and a back. And we have an up on the upper part. Lower part, front, back, two sides, and down. We can organize our body to create the volume to grow bigger in certain ways so that we can inhale. Right? Every inhale is a shape change in the body. It has to become larger to lower the pressure within the body so that the atmospheric pressure has a place to move. It's another concentration gradient kind of thing. Moving energy. Breath is just another one. So this exercise, what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to begin. See if you can just take a breath, a nice inhale, and bring it to push your pelvic floor straight down without allowing any other part of the body to move. So in other words, you are going to restrain the chest from expanding and the belly from expanding and just allow the pelvic floor. See if you can do that. Just feel what that feels like in your body. This is play. Right? This is experimentation. This is toying around with the absolute most sophisticated thing we know of in the universe. That's you and you and you and me and you and you. We are it. There is nothing that we know of that's more glitzy, more glamorous, more totally, incredibly complex than our mind. The more time we can spend with our mind in a learning mode, the less time we spend with it in a hateful mode, self-hatred. Self-hatred, I think, is one of the biggest sensations we have in the modern world. And it comes in many guises. So, anyway. And we're going to begin this with a, another little practice that we like to do. And... Uh, This humsa. There's an ancient text from about the seventh century. It's called the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra. It's got about 140 practices. The very first practice is the practice of humsa. The practice of humsa is when you inhale slowly and easily, you might hear the sound of hum as the air comes up over the highest place the air can go in our in our body is right here in the third eye. And then on the exhale, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost like a Three Stooges snore. <laughs> it's a lot like the Three Stooges snore, but it's, it's a very subtle sound. And it's the sound of us. So allow your full awareness to focus on that sound. four count breathing. So try to do a couple breaths deep in your pelvis and it'll go like this. Thank you. 
to your chest. Breathe into the front of your chest. Finding that balance. Yoga is about balance. 